Could a real estate bubble be bursting in the greater Toronto area? The latest numbers from the Toronto Real Estate Board show a sharp drop in sales for the month of June, falling more than 30 percent compared to last year. New listings surged, however. They're up more than 15 percent. And while prices have come down somewhat from their peak in the spring, they're still higher than they were a year ago. So what does this all mean? To break down the numbers, so I'm joined by Sean Ziegelstein, a real estate agent with Royal LePage, joining me from Toronto. Sean, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Marcia. How are you? So I'm doing well, thank you. So if there's anyone right now that is celebrating uh, this news this morning, who would it be in the Toronto market? I, I think the buyers are definitely the ones that would be celebrating. It's not the sellers right now. The buyers have some choice out there. They've got opportunities to get into different types of homes and the homes that they want without uh, competing in multiple offers a lot of the time. So they'll be the ones that are, are having a good, uh, uh, a good smile today. And so what does it mean for people who are in the market right now for a house in Toronto and up until this point haven't been able to get one? Well, as I mentioned, they have choice. So where a few months ago they were running around, they were seeing several properties, putting offers into several properties and not really having the ability to do their due diligence, make sure they get home inspections done, make sure that they get their financing conditions taken care of properly. So now they have those opportunities to do so. They've got the ability to go in with a home inspection, make sure that the house is perfect for them, for their needs, and there's no surprises at the end of the day. And then they can also find the actual house that they want rather than just bidding on houses that they don't necessarily fall in love with. So after the measures introduced by the provincial government uh, just a short time ago, including the foreign buyers tax, is this drop something, is this drop expected? Was it expected? I think the, the drop wasn't really expected from a uh, pricing standpoint. What uh, what we did expect was a little bit more inventory come on the market. Now, of course, our main numbers were outstanding with the amount of inventory that showed up on the market. And that number has decreased a little bit in June, year over year. It's still up considerably from last June. Uh, so I think that we're looking at it from the standpoint of inventory hitting the market and not necessarily the foreign home buyers tax, which has been put in place because they, they've just announced the numbers uh, that have been uh, researched. And we're only looking at about 5%, just yeah. under that 5% marker. So it's really not a huge uh, portion of the market. Okay. So Vancouver's market is starting to heat up again after a temporary cool down. Does that telegraph anything about what could happen in Toronto next? I, I think it does. And I think what we're still seeing in Toronto is, yes, the average prices um, are still up year over year. They're down month over month from May. Uh, but we were having such a huge increase that we couldn't sustain that with a marketplace. So I think what's going to happen is our market is still up. Our market is still uh, increasing year over year, which is a great sign for both buyers and sellers in the marketplace. I think we're seeing condominiums uh, staying relatively flat when it comes to pricing. We're not seeing the severe decreases in that market. So I do think that that's going to be something that sustains us. And while the average price is coming down, it's because a lot of the higher end properties are not selling as quickly as they were in the past. So of course, that affects the average price simply because of the economics of the scale. Okay, so just quickly, do you anticipate prices would go down? or just remain stable or go up a little bit in a more Again, normal yeah. sort of way? I, I think year over year, we're still going to be a consistent market. I think we're still going to be stable. We are still going to rise as we are seeing this month. So even though the numbers are saying we're down, yes, our volume numbers are down, but our average price is up almost 7% okay. year over year. So a great sign. All right. And we'll have to leave it there for today. Sean, really appreciate your time. Sean Ziegelstein, real estate agent with Royal LePage.